Hello, my friends. This is Mr. Matt, and it's time for another pop into Proverbs. That's right. It's another chance for us to look at the book of Proverbs in the Bible and see what wisdom it has to offer us for how we live our lives today. Now, before we get to today's proverb, I need to make sure that everybody um, understands what our proverb is going to be referring to and talking about. So, um, I'd like to start with a picture of a beaver's dam. Now, I don't know if you have ever seen one of these when you've been out hiking or uh, traveling somewhere, but this is a picture of a beaver's dam. And what beavers do is they will find a nice stream that's sort of flowing along, and they will start to bring tree branches and limbs and actually will take down small trees and then we'll put them into that stream and as they continue to build up all of the that wood the water behind it can't flow through as easily and so it starts to back up and as you can see in this picture this is a, a big beaver dam that has been built up over time and you can see that the water behind the dam is very deep and it's running still, and it's nice and calm, and the water that's coming, that does come through the dam, is running fast, and it's, it's much less. It's flowing out this way. So beavers build dams like this to have a protected home. They can live in the dam, and they are protected from wolves and other animals that might be trying to, to be predators and trying to get to the beavers, and the water that, they, that backs up here is a way to protect them and any little baby beavers that might be living inside. So this dam is a, a way for protection. And people build dams too, not with sticks and, and twigs like beavers do, but with steel and concrete. And they build dams for all kinds of reasons. People build them to produce electricity. They build them to keep floods from happening. They build them to um, have a water supply for cities. Um, there are some dams that, are, that were built that make sure that the folks that live in Charlotte have water. So there are all kinds of reasons for building dams. But the thing to remember about them is there's a lot of water that builds up behind that dam. And that water that builds up behind that dam does build up pressure. So, it's a little bit about dams in general. Um, and now, let's see what our proverb has to say. And the proverb today comes from Proverbs chapter 17, and it's verse 14. And it reads like this. Starting a quarrel is like breaching a dam. So drop the matter before a dispute breaks out. Let me read that again. Starting a quarrel is like breaching a dam. So drop the matter before a dispute breaks out. Now, there are a few words there that I think um, some of my younger friends may not know. So let's talk about those a little bit. Um, the first is this idea of breaching a dam. Now, breaching a dam would mean to break it open. So in this case, to breach the beaver's dam would mean to have something come along and move all of this wood out of the way all of a sudden, and the water that is behind the dam would suddenly start rushing downstream. Now, breaching a dam, having a dam break, can be very dangerous for the people that live downstream because all of that water suddenly released would cause flooding downstream and it can destroy property and it can hurt people um, if they're caught up in that flood. So breaching a dam is something that um, is very risky and very dangerous um, if, it's, if it just happens and it's sort of an uncontrolled breach. Now the other word that's in this proverb to pay attention to is a quarrel. Now, a quarrel is another word for an argument between people. But it's a quarrel is also an argument that's really about something that's not too important. Something small and something 
insignificant. So our proverb is saying that starting one of these little arguments with someone else is like breaching a dam, that it's better to just not do it and let whatever is bothering you, just let it drop before a dispute between you and the other person breaks out. So it might be something as simple as having an argument with someone about who gets to go next when you're playing the game. It might be an argument about who gets the last popsicle. It might be uh, an argument about, you know, which band is better than another band. <laughs> People can quarrel and, and have these little arguments about all kinds of different things. The proverb today is saying, when these little things come up between you and another person, it is not worth breaking the relationship that you have with someone else. It's not worth breaching that dam and letting this little quarrel come between you and the other person. It's better to just let it drop and forget about it than to start this little argument. Now, there are times where people disagree, and people can disagree about things that are big and important. And this isn't saying that there aren't things that are worth fighting for. But what it is telling us is, when we start into those arguments, we have to know that there's going to be damage done to the relationship. And we need to be aware of that. So if it's a fight about something important, like what you believe in. Yes, you may want to have that discussion. You may want to state your position and you may want to hold firm to what you believe. But that's different from what the proverb talks about, which is a quarrel, which is this little small problem between two people that could easily be let go of or forgotten. Most of the arguments that we have with one another and most of the time where our relationships get harmed are over these quarrels rather than over these big picture things, these big belief things that we have. And so when you're presented with one of these little arguments, it's worth asking yourself, is it worth breaching the dam and breaking the relationship over this or not? That's the wisdom of the proverb is to ask yourself, is it worth hurting the other person to have this argument, this quarrel, or not? I hope that you aren't having too many quarrels in your life. I hope that your life is full of joy and peace. But if you do have fights with someone, if you do have these little arguments, I hope that you remember the proverb and you remember to ask yourself, is it worth hurting the relationship? Or should I just let it go? Thank you so much for listening today. I hope until next time, you all stay safe and that God continues to bless your lives in abundance. Thanks so much. See you soon. Bye-bye.